All right, all right, so this right here, this is just another link in the long chain of evidence that shows YouTube is positioning themselves against content creators, okay? Let's just go ahead and read this. YouTube is testing, hiding comments in its Android app, and you can bet it's not gonna stay limited to this, okay? YouTube has historically had a seemingly insurmountable problem with the toxicity in its video's comment sections. Now, in what seems like an effort to prevent viewers from being exposed to this filth, the streaming service is testing out a feature to hide comments by default on its Android app. As XDA developers reported, the feature is currently visible only to users in India. The change means there's a new button to access the comment section next to the like and dislike buttons. And instead of showing comments below the video, YouTube's showing what video will play next. Also, in order to accommodate the comments button, YouTube has moved the save to watch later button to the expanded menu. In March, the streaming service disabled comments on videos featuring minors. We don't know when this feature will be available to a wider audience. We've contacted YouTube to learn more and we'll update the story accordingly. So this is just another push in this trend towards censorship and there's something else I wanna show you, okay? Because what YouTube has been doing with adjusting their algorithms, bouncing folks off of their platform, or just hiding them all together, uh, look at what's getting caught up in this. And by the way, this is arbitrary criteria. This is stuff that's very, very subjective. But look at this. YouTube announces new policies against hate speech and conspiracy theories. Okay, that's strange. I wonder what counts as a conspiracy theory. Look at this. Under fire, YouTube updates its policy on racist content and conspiracy theories. What is the, what is the deal with... Uh, trying to obfuscate conspiracy theories, right? One more for you, right? YouTube cracks down on white supremacist videos and conspiracies. What the hell does conspiracies have to do with white supremacists, okay, uh, racist content, or uh, policies against hate speech, okay? So they're just one big brush all together, same thing, there you go. That's what they're saying here. And again, these are arbitrary criteria and it's, it's very subjective stuff. As a matter of fact, YouTube has gone so far down this censorship route, they've even gotten it wrong. Look, right here, YouTube shows 9-11 link on live videos of unrelated Notre Dame fire. And what this is talking about is when the Notre Dame fire happened, uh, YouTube algorithms thought that the Notre Dame fire uh, was 9-11 conspiracy. That's absolutely crazy. So YouTube placed a link to info about the 9-11 attacks under Notre Dame fire videos. Okay, because what YouTube often does when you're talking about, I don't know, chemtrails or whatever, uh, YouTube will put a little as an addendum underneath the box of what's really going on. So no, this isn't what the content creator is talking about. Here's the truth from this authoritative source. You know, that's absolutely crazy. So here I am on... Um, my my channel right and I have uh, chemtrails a geoengineering initiative this is a video I did a long time ago okay and look what they put underneath my video they just because they have to let you know uh, this isn't what you're talking about this is what they're really talking about here so this is just a this is just another modicum of what we're talking about with censorship because there's basically saying that you viewers okay you, you let's point you to an authoritative source because the stuff that's coming from you know this channel could be nonsense as if it's not on you to go out and see if this stuff is true, okay? And again, what counts as racist content, what counts as hate speech, what counts as white supremacy stuff, and why in the world does something like, I don't conspiracy theories, uh, people essentially questioning the mainstream narrative or just maybe uh, coming up with uh, things that confound the original, uh, the everyday person. It's like, come on, this stuff doesn't make any sense unless you know that this is about more than just censorship, it's about more than just protecting um, your modesty, okay? This is more, it's about more than that. It's about defining what truth is. That's, a, that's exactly what this is. This is about defining truth and it's about control, no matter what they say. So yeah, uh, there are thousands of videos that are being uh, removed as well as content creators, but people only seem to say anything about, you know, what, what if it's coming from the left-right paradigm, oh, my, my favorite content creator here, but nobody's talking about the other people that are disappearing. Nobody's making a peep about the other folks that um, aren't as prominent, all right? And this just goes to show you what they're doing. And, and again, they went so far as they couldn't even get their own stuff right. You know, couldn't even get their own stuff right. So the the link that they placed under the Notre Dame fire videos, it, it, would, it would have looked like this. So it would have said 9-11, even though it was a Notre Dame fire, and it had been like, what the heck? That's how far they've gone with this. They're absolutely crazy. Anyway, California Carter, signing off.